Okay, so you guys had homework, um, at least I think one interesting homework uh, assignment. So yesterday I was discussing uh, gossiping or anti-entropy algorithms and I sketched the following situation. Everyone in this room starts with an initial value, variable, okay? And what you do is you apply your anti-entropy algorithm. That means you blindly pick someone from this room. Uh, you exchange the values. You divide it by two. And that's the value that you then keep. And everybody does this continuously. And yesterday we decided that, well, you know, there's only one possible outcome in the end. Everybody will have the average value over uh, all the computations. Okay, and the, the reasoning is very simple. If you take a look at the total value of all these variables, that is not changing. Okay, you're not affecting that in any way. Um, but everybody who has done an exchange will have the same value after the exchange. That means everybody's moving towards the same value, which then necessarily will have to be the average. And then the interesting observation is, is that if you let one person start with one and the others with zero, then everybody will be computing one over n, where n is the total number of nodes in the network. And now suddenly I've come up with a almost fully decentralized version of a counting algorithm that will estimate the size of the network for you, which I think is kind of cool, actually. There was only one thing that uh, you had to have one node pre-assigned to be the holder of this one value and the others zero, and I want to get rid of that pre-assignment. So what, so what do you do? And I won't ask you to give the answer to that question. <laughs> so has, has anybody thought of an, of an answer to that one? You did? did? Okay, give it a, give it a shot. Well, first off, you just pick some random identifier to identify the uh, calculation, the average calculation. So. Uh, okay. So I'll re let me repeat what you're saying. So you pick a random number to identify a calculation. Yeah. Yep. And then could you say, well, I am one. Very good. Screw the rest of you. I'm one. Screw the rest of one. Okay. I'm recording this. Watch out what you're saying. Okay. <laughs> Yes, I'm doing calculation random number, yes. I have one, and the other node says, oh, I don't know this calculation number, so I'll be zero. And then you have the average. And every time a node contacts another node, he says, well, this is random number, which is always the same. Right. Um, and if the receiving node doesn't know this calculation yet, he starts at zero. Okay. Um, very good. My compliments. Uh, you're almost there. It, but but the, the, the principle is there. And what you're saying is everybody can start a computation. Yeah. Okay, so let me refine your approach just a bit because in essence you're absolutely right. Everyone starts with drawing a random number. And I'll make the assumption that uh, the number from the, the space from which you're drawing this random number is so huge that the probability that two people will pick the same random number is close to zero. Let's just make that assumption, okay? And then we proceed as follows. You and I pick each other for an exchange. And I liked your classification like this is uh, average calculation number, and then you said your random number. Okay, so let's make now the following deal. Your random number that you associated with your calculation in which you decided I'm the one who's going to have the one and screw the rest, okay? Uh, let's assume that your number was, your random number was higher than mine. You win, okay? I was already involved in a computation with an associated random number that was lower than yours, so I lose. What does this mean? That means I'm gonna participate in your computation. And this means that I switch to zero, pretend that I've never been contacted before by anyone. I also pick up your random number, and I'm going to start it from there. 
That means that whatever computation, whatever value you had, I take that number, I, you take my number, which is zero, you divide it by two. No harm done. And what happens is that I start talking to somebody else with my new random number, and then what you'll see in the end is that that calculation with the highest associated random number is going to win. It will, everybody will have that same random number. Oh, and by the way, as a side effect, we're all running the same computation. And now, I have no centralized node I have no node that had a pre-assigned one. Very good. That close, okay? And in principle, your, uh, your proposal could also work, um, um, but you are making assumption that somebody else didn't see this random number before. So I could also equally start a computation. And that's the part that you didn't solve yet. But, you know, that's too, too close to ignore. Is this clear to everyone? So what's, what's so vulnerable about this, this gossiping that I just described? And not just this example, there are many other examples. And security is not the right answer this time. Not what? Not getting the gossiping message. Yeah, the, the not getting the gossiping message. This algorithm relies on the fact that communication is perfect and that you do not lose a message. Because you have to understand, yeah, there's something making noise up there, and we tried to switch it off, but we failed. Um, it's, it's, sorry about that. I don't know what it is. Um, if you lose a message in this gossiping, what you will be doing is uh, basically not preserving your mass. The mass is the the... All the, va the initial values that everybody had, you add this up, right? As soon as somebody misses a message, the total mass drops because you're, you're basically losing mass. As soon as you have that, you're getting yourself into trouble. That's the vulnerability of this, uh, of this approach. And uh, it can be compensated, but essentially, you, you, yo, no, sorry. You can use anti-entropy algorithms, but not this one if you cannot make the assumption that you generally have a good idea, reliable communication.